Hey guys, welcome to my first recording, um, commentating one of my matches here uh, from the Abu Dhabi World Pro. Um, here this is going to be my third place match versus uh, Simone Francescini from Italy. Um, as you'll see in this match I was very energized because I just had a tough loss in my semi so I was desperate to at least end up on the podium and at least get uh, some some cash prize at the end. I couldn't go home empty handed so you'll see I come out in this one a little crazy. I look to pull right away, but he does good at backing away. And then I finally make my grabs, so I'm able to get to my guard. I start forcing De La Hiva right away. Um, start settling from here, making sure he can't make his grips. And we get into a bit of a scramble here. I start looking to try to get a uh, hand on the belt and start trying to bring him to his butt. But he actually does a good job defending for a little bit. have a hard time getting him there now. Starting to get my feet closer to his hips. I force him down to his hip. Comes back up, no problem, just reset. And I remember watching one of his matches with Paulo. He was giving him a tough time because he was doing a good job backing away and scrambling. So I knew I would have a tough time getting that there. And from there, instead, I actually sit up with the leg. I don't think he was expecting that. And when coming up for the leg, once he starts falling down, I start looking for a leg drag. And here we're going to reset. So here I get two points, and automatically I'm starting to look to drag the leg across. We're not quite in 50-50 yet, because my foot is on his left side. If I if he gets it to his right side, he's got 50-50. So I make sure I try to avoid that at all costs. I sprawl back on his leg, um, so I don't really have a f like. Well, now there's the leg drag. Now we have it on pretty tight. Now I'm just looking to get my head position, head to the side. This happens often when I fight him. I try to scramble for the back. It's not easy, but the shin on the back of the knee helped me get enough leverage to take the back from there. And I lock on from here. I get the collar, get the body triangle, and we're good to go. And out of bounds again. Here, going through my mind right now, I'm like so livid about the last match that I'm not even thinking about the points. I just wanted to get the body triangle hold there and, and, and work to get the finish. Uh, so it's still 2 nothing right here. I don't even get the points for the back. I just wanted to get the submission, honestly, and get this fight over with as fast as possible. <laughs> so I get an advantage for a back attempt there. I could have gotten the hooks, but I wanted to try to get the finish. I was, I was just in a different <laughs> world, not even thinking about points so much at this point. So he's defending his neck well, like most guys do. It seems like it, seems like it gets harder and harder to finish from the back, especially when people know what you're going for. So I start controlling the wrist, almost getting like Kimura grip you'll see right here. And then automatically I'm going to start swinging my le left leg over. And from here it's just a scramble to get the arm. I have it on. I have it on my right side so that he has a hard time rolling out. And he's forced to tap. So I was happy about that. I was wish I could do that more often. <laughs> Make matches look as as uh, simple as that. Um, so I thought that was a good win, a good way to end the day, even though uh, I was hoping to get a little bit of a better result overall. So I ended up having five matches this day, uh, only losing one by one advantage, and then it was nice to finish off a, a really, really tough guy with a, with an armbar submission from there. So hope you guys liked it. Hope it, this helped out a little bit. Stay tuned for more videos and follow me at GianniGrippo.com.